Hello, fourth graders. We are on unit three, week one, and we are reading the story this week called The Man Who Named the Clouds. So you can get your word collector out um, and be ready to learn some new vocabulary words. Our first word for this week is scales. Okay, a sentence using the word scales is the scales on this fish make a pattern. Okay, so think about what the word scales means. You can kind of use this picture as some clues. Um, you've probably seen scales before. You've probably seen a fish before. Okay, that's the outer covering of a fish. So scales are thin, flat, hard plates on the outer covering of fish, snakes, and lizards. So if you look at this picture, Okay, so scales protect an animal's body, just like our skin would protect ours. So humans have skin to protect our bodies, whereas animals like fish and snakes and lizards, um, they have scales to protect them. Our next word is chemical. So a sentence using the word chemical that matches this picture is, this scientist is looking at a chemical. So if you look at her, she's wearing some protective gloves. She's wearing protective eyewear. Um, she looks like she's wearing a lab coat. Okay, and she's looking at this liquid inside of a glass um, container. So a chemical is any substance used in a chemical process. Okay, a chemical is any substance used in a chemical process. So if we look at this picture right here, you see a lot of different um, beakers and cylinders. That's what those are called. That's the scientific term for these jars um, that these different substances or liquids are in. Okay, so that's a picture of some different chemicals. So do you remember when I used chemicals for our pumpkin experiment? So remember I talked to you, we were using hydrogen peroxide and I was wearing those really thick gloves as a way to protect myself from these chemicals. Um, that was something that we used to make a chemical reaction or used in a chemical process. Um, so that would be one example of a chemical. Our next word is pressure. So a sentence using pressure that would match our picture is, the paramedic applies pressure to the wound. Okay, so this word wound right here, you can see it right there. Um, the word wound is just another word for like a cut or a scrape um, or a place where you've been hurt, okay? So think about what does the word pressure mean? This picture, okay, this paramedic is adding pressure right there on this person's arm, okay? So the force being this person's hand. So pressure is the continued action of a weight or other force. So if we look back... So think about, have you ever needed to put pressure on a cut to stop it from bleeding? Okay, I think about when I was a kid, I cut my finger with the scissors. And my brother had to use paper towels and put pressure on my finger so that would it would stop bleeding. So think about, has that ever happened to you before? Okay. And the word pressure can be used um, in a variety of different ways. Okay, maybe um, someone has put pressure on you to do really well on a test, right? Maybe your parents put a lot of pressure on you to study your spelling words and do well in your spelling test. That would be another way that the word pressure could be used. Our next word is club. And a sentence using the word club would be, these children belong in a reading club. Okay, so you can see they're sitting in a tent together, they're reading books. Okay, so think about what does the word club mean in this context? So a club is a group of people joined together for a special purpose. Okay, so we can think about book clubs, right? We have our own book clubs in our classroom. And you guys are able to choose those book clubs based on the book that you want to read. Okay, so that special purpose would be the book that you want to read. Okay, you can also think about a chess club, right? That would be another form of a club where people get together um, for the special purpose of playing chess. Okay, so there's a variety of different clubs that you could be a part of. So I want you to think about, have you ever belonged to a club or created a club with your friends? Okay, maybe um, with your friends you create like an all-boys club, right? No girls are allowed or something like that. Um, maybe you have um, enjoy playing a game, so you make a club where the people in the club get to play a game that you enjoy doing. 
Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have done those things, have created or been a part of a club before. Next word is essay. So a sentence word using the word essay would be, this girl is writing an essay. Okay, so think about what the word essay means. It's probably a familiar word for you. So an essay is a short written composition that makes a point about something. Okay, so a short rip written composition that makes a point about something. Okay, so I want you to think about have you ever written a short essay about a topic? Sometimes tests may have an essay question. Okay, um, so maybe, for example, on a test, the essay might be, um, you know, write an answer, an essay about um, one famous person you would like to meet and why. Okay, so an essay isn't something that's like super long, right? It's not like a five-page report. Um, but it's just a, something short that you write about one specific topic would be what an essay is. Next word is apprentice. Okay, so this apprentice is learning from an expert. Okay, so if we look at this picture, we have two different people in this picture. Okay, the person right here um, would be someone who's older, someone who has probably done this job for a really long time. And the person right here is someone who is younger. This would be the apprentice. Okay, so this is the apprentice right here. Okay, and this would be the expert that would be teaching them. Okay, so think about what the word apprentice means based on those clues. Two people in this picture, our expert right here and our apprentice right here. Usually the expert is older, um, has done it for a really long time, um, and then the apprentice is someone who's younger and who is just starting to learn how to do this job or this trade. So an apprentice is a person learning a trade or art by working for an expert, okay? so I. Okay, so if we look in these pictures, you can see the same thing, right? Usually someone who's older, who is teaching someone who is younger how to do something. So think about how can someone learn from working with an apprentice, okay? So how could they learn with someone who is really good at their job? So how would it benefit you to work with someone, you know, to work with an expert who is really good at their job? Okay, I think about it as a teacher. When I was going to school to be a teacher, I um, got to work with my mentor teacher who was older than me, who had been teaching for six years, and I learned so much from her because I was new at it and I was young, and she taught me a lot of really valuable things. So an apprentice would be that young person who is learning how to do something new from an expert person. All right, kiddos, so those are our words. We have six vocabulary words for this week. Um, remember that you can go back and rewatch any part of this video if you would like. Um, and then also feel, feel free to pause along the way, go back and listen. Um, but thank you for watching and listening and being an active learner.